right? Yeah. So, um, so Cam, why invest within Durham, but specifically Oshawa? Yeah, so Durham region as a whole is, is you know, booming. It's it's part of the GTA. It, it's a lot happening as far as jobs coming in. It's Agreed. still, you know, major, Toronto's still the major, you know, of transportation course. hub for, for people living in Durham region, you know, working downtown. And, yep. um, you know, Toronto creates a ton of jobs being a world-class city. So the fact that we're half hour, 45 minutes out from that city, um, you know, makes Durham region, you know, a very good spot to invest. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's Oshawa though, that has the stigma with the GM plant. Um, so oh, it, it is, it is the lowest price city within, within Durham region. Yeah, the GTA even, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right. So, I mean, it, for me, then it, it comes down to what, what kind of rent can we get? And then what kind of purchase price do we have? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and rent doesn't fluctuate as much as purchase price does. So purchase price will drop dramatically between Scarborough, Pickering, Ajax, yeah. Whitby, Oshawa, and then it even goes up when you get further out into like Curtis, which is crazy, but that's no, just because I, of the stigma. Yeah, yeah it's um, so true. You know, so you're talking, you know, fifty, sixty, a hundred thousand dollar difference in, in prices for the exact same house just because of location. Yeah. Now if you're buying to live in and that's gonna be your forever home, that's a lot different. When you're investing, you know, you wanna look at what can that house get for rent relative to the purchase price yeah, so yeah, yeah. oshawa is really the last city that the numbers make sense you know oshawa uh, i mean sorry whitby ajax and you know oshawa. i would love to invest there i think it, they're phenomenal cities i have nothing against them yeah um it's just they're too expensive yeah, yeah. Cash flow, yeah. just come yeah. down to that right so going off hand of that um so what's some of like the growth that you've been able to like witness firsthand in durham or like more specifically oshawa well i'll tell you this when my, my first property i bought for 258 um, it's, uh, yeah, it's now worth about $600,000 wow. and, uh, I, I get around $1,600 a month profit cash wow. flow. Wow. So, yeah. yeah. And again, right. That's, you're almost looking at rent. Like you said, you could look at that within almost Toronto even yeah. come out here, right? Yeah, it absolutely. only makes sense. And, Same, and I, I agree. I talk about Durham region, but like Toronto is, you know, I would invest in Toronto in the core if, if it made sense, but, oh, we'd um, all love to, we'd all love to, like, to right? me, that is, that is the place, that is the hub. That is the reason why their region makes sense is because of Toronto. So yeah, yeah. I, if Toronto made sense, but it, it they got you got a million dollar house for you know uh, rent that that isn't even near that. So yeah, just yeah. Cash, it's, it's so impossible painful. to cash flow there. So a lot of people have gone to like pre construction condos, which in my mind are more just speculation. Yeah, um, I was gonna yeah yeah. I, more, I don't understand why people are like, oh, I want to invest in pre con. And it's like, do you guys understand that you're banking on like? Potential appreciation and the builders can literally screw you over. <laughs> like they, and they're all like pre-con, pre-con, pre-con. Some like, people are like, well, getting get pre-con yeah. like you know five, seven years down the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like you know why that is though. Is the market's gone up though, right? And yeah, everyone that's has really had really a lot of success with it, right? Though. I mean, but I just told you my Oshawa property also went up. Yeah. As well, the the market does what the market's going to do. You can't you can't control like it's. I don't know, just blows my mind. Like people, yeah, like yeah. if you talk to any like actual investor, they'll be like, no, I don't do pre-con. Yeah. Like, they look for cash flow. But it's like the average person is like, oh, you got to do pre-con. That's where the money's at. It's like, yeah. eh, no, it's not. To me, it, to me, it's it's like a flip, but you're just relying on the market to go up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like gambling. Like you may as well just go to the casino. Yeah, it, it's and that's and there's people that have done well with it, but hundred percent. You know, made a lot of money off it, so 100%. you know, good for them. And I mean. You're also like kind of relying on the condos to make sure they do their job, don't get any warnings from the city, yeah, the, government, the, et cetera, right? Yeah. So there's a lot that plays into condos, and that's kind of why, I, me personally, I'd stick with houses for sure. Yeah. With investing, cash flow with investing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was a good mic clip. <laughs> Solid. Did we, did we talk about the burst factor? Oh, we did talk about the burst factor. All right. I'm always just asking. Oh. Saying, like, what it is. Um, so Cam, I know you kind of specialize within Oshawa and like, I guess specifically the growth within the past five years, um, maybe towards the north end, I know it's very um, significant, right? Would you ever consider investing within the north end? No, I would not, um, <laughs> only because it's priced too high. It's okay. similar to Whitby, Curtis, yep. Ajax. It just comes down to price. I mean. Even Oshawa in itself, and it, it's a good point. It's not all of Oshawa that makes sense. There's exactly. only certain areas that make sense, um, and and I quickly think that's going to be going away. I don't think that's going to be around Stay forever. forever. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Jump on the opportunity. Yeah. 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 So Hit up me and come. <laughs> Start yeah. it now. Yeah. And that's it. But it, 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 the market correcting in 2017 has been a good thing for investors, right? Yeah. It's been a buying opportunity where 
you know, uh, people are, are, you know, people follow the headlines and stuff, and, you know, and it, to me, that's, that's just... Pre-con investors. Yeah, well, even, even before 2017, within Oshawa, I know, even within Oshawa, is a big thing that every house is going over asking. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So people were you couldn't even get account. an investment at yeah. that point, so... Yeah. So, yeah. um... Yeah. Well, you ask us something, Ken. Oh, yeah. How old are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> well, you carry the one. <laughs> so at the time we're filming right now, I'm actually 18. Um, this is probably going to come out after I make my huge reveal and I'm 19. But yeah, the past year um, from when I started my Instagram page, I've been 18. Um, I'm 19. Yeah, I'm still 18. I turned 19 within October. So we'll see when this video comes out. But yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so I'm, I'm 33 years old. Um, I think it's super, super impressive what you guys are doing. Thank, Thank you. Um, Thank you. you know, I'm, this is why I'm out here with you guys. Cause I think it's, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I'll tell you, you don't want to know what I was doing when I was 18. 18. <laughs> uh, it was not this productive. I mean, <laughs> you guys are out there networking, learning, um, what's next for you guys? What was the that's, plan? No, that's no you can start off. Okay. <laughs> um, so the plan for me is, again, definitely just getting established and building those connections with um, realtors because my source of business definitely comes from realtors. Yeah. Um, so I definitely want to just become close with a lot of realtors and get, a, especially the focus I want to do is my systems. Make right. sure they're solid and just proper, right? right. So yeah. that's within at least the next two years kind of my main focus. Yeah. So yeah. Awesome. yeah, I agree with Nolan. Um, so also realtors, but like more so like my network in general. So yeah, I have like yeah. that wide array of people I can just always so important. Call, yeah, because like, so your network important. is your net worth. If you haven't heard that already, but um, yeah. yeah. So it's basically doing that as well as gaining capital and just growing and growing and growing. I think for me, man, just growing my social media and literally taking it to that point where I'm like a like a meet Kevin or like a Brian Cassell or just something like that, and then literally just like I love networking, like. Like you, you can probably tell at the last event and just literally just leveraging social media is like what I'm really trying to get the maximum out of. Um, and obviously going the real estate business yeah, and just us, yeah. yeah, again, we've all discussed us three too. Uh, besides personal goals, we definitely want to continue to grow the team aspect yeah. and just really we'll see where that can take us, right? So yeah, we're in the early stages of that, but we're, we're teams growing yeah, slowly. I think it's so yeah, like choices. if Cam was like a few years older, he'd be double our age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that's crazy. Still, like, beautiful thing with real estate is, like, you can start whenever. I mean, obviously, yeah. it's better to start um, younger, because then you do have that leverage in some sense. But, like, mm. that's the cool thing about real it's estate. It's going to be tough right? for you guys to get into real estate, yeah. too, right? Exactly. I, mean, I, right? I, I remember how tough I told you I bought, you know, my first house for two fifty eight. Yeah. I mean, that was between me and my, my girlfriend at the time, you know, and we put 5% down, but now house prices are crazy. So, oh, you know, I think, uh, I think for you guys, house hacking, COVID, sure, like, uh, yeah, stuff right. like that are, are almost uh, things that you're going to have to look at. But yeah, you're so young that you guys could, you know, just keep learning and keep growing. For you like know, six you know. years, like not even like 10 years, and it would still be like good. Yep, absolutely. You're, you're in no rush. You, just, you, got the, you guys got the positive mindset and just keep, keep learning, keep growing. and. Yeah, and, it's, and it's, well, that comes down to just being around people such as you, right? And we're yeah. just definitely looking up to mentors and the, the right people, and right? Also, just, and yeah. also continue giving value and, like, teaching people also our age, like, what they need to start doing from young. Because like you obviously if you wait too long, you're gonna be missing out on like some great opportunities and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah you guys are you and guys are doing something that most eighteen year olds aren't doing. Yeah. So <laughs> they're gonna wanna see and, and 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 come along the ride, so to speak, with you guys as to how you're doing, right? Definitely. Because it's, oh, we it's get totally thing, against yeah. the grain of, of what society's teaching people right now. Exactly. And I think uh, yeah, I mean it, it's it's definitely different than uh, it's crazy. Yeah, I think like the funniest thing is like when we get DMs and it's like, hey man, I'm 19, I'm not too sure what to do. And I'm like, listen, buddy, I'm a year younger than you. It'll be okay. It's possible, right? Yeah, so it's yeah. like you're right, man. Like with like universities and like colleges and like how they literally just there's no value in them realistically anymore. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like, there's so many other ways thing. to learn. And exactly, grow, and I think. As long as you you are doing just that, yeah, that you'll keep moving forward. So I mean, it's uh, you know, I always say my, my when I went to I went to university for three years, but the best thing that happened to me was I ran a bar in my first yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was, was that, that business story, experience. Yeah. It was that uh, you know that initial taste of it that that made me open a gym. After that, that made me get that mindset and keep learning from there. So I mean, 
you know, there's, there's opportunities everywhere in life, you know, you just have to have that open mindset and say, 100%. hey, you know, keep learning. Yeah, and it comes, it comes with going against the grain that, like, it allows us to try and spread that message more yeah. um, to, to a wider audience, exactly. I guess, because they're always interested, I guess. Exactly. It's not it's yeah. not, it's not the normal, right? Yeah. You, you don't see a lot of 18-year-olds doing like, this stuff. It's just, that. like, the feeling of, like, having, like, younger people, like, people our age that kind of reach out to us and they're like, dude, like, I love what you're doing. Like, I want to learn more. Like, you're killing it. Like, that, yeah. like, that, like, feeling is, like, unmatched. Keeps, like, keeps us going. Yeah. yeah. Inspired, like, motivated. money can't, like, give you that feeling. Unless not you're, like, though. paying someone to say that. But then it's, like, yeah. stupid, right? <laughs> so it's, like, yeah. like, it just, I don't know, man. It's just, like, stuff like that just keeps us going. It's, like, yeah, we're young, but it's, like, it just makes more sense. Like, I, like, people that aren't doing stuff like this, it's, like, what are you guys, like, doing? You know? Yeah. Like, you're really going to sit in a lecture hall for, like, four hours. Like, it's, like, you're not learning anything. And it's, like, like you have the internet to your advantage like, oh, and you can literally man. learn anything you want and like now like nowadays like once you're exposed to that mindset and like you, you can't just, go back yeah you literally <laughs> you really can't go back like, you can't go back you regret that once and it's like <laughs> you're done yeah. exactly. did you tell Cam the uh, your view of Buffalo story the econ oh. degree oh, oh no I, I didn't actually tell, tell um, yeah that's a point so story. I went to university at Buffalo for so, one semester uh, really so last, it was actually last year, literally this time, I was going to Buffalo, for, um, University at Buffalo. Cool. I was taking economics. <laughs> and literally, like, every time I would get homework, I'd, I'd be doing it, and I'd be like, I can literally Google this. And that's how yeah. I'd get most of my answers, was literally just looking at the question or something like that, and simply putting it in Google. Yeah. And it was like, my whole, like, textbook that people were paying for, like, you're paying, like, $300 for a textbook, yeah. every single thing in that textbook, I could find Google. on the internet. Oh, yeah. And God. that's when I, that's when I got really, like, realized, it's like, yeah. Like why? Like why am I doing this? And that's it. The information age is, is yeah, literally that's has changed everything, things, right? Yeah. So I mean, it, you know, now you know when they created those textbooks and courses and stuff, you know, that information wasn't available, oh, right? Yeah, and yeah. so people, yeah. that was their only option. So it, it'll take some time for people to to you know get away from that. Yeah. But you know, things like your Instagram story, um, you know, aren't taught in in universities and stuff, exactly. right? Which uh, you know is a small price to pay to get like you know literally like yeah. there's people that like. When I, like people message me, they're like, "Hey, like I'm first year business. I've learned more on your Instagram page than in school." And I'm like, "What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, uh, why the are you one, still there?" The one good thing, I guess, is it, it really does show how much people are willing to invest with for its knowledge. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, just in themselves. I know it's definitely a different route than kind it of is. what society's going towards nowadays, but it it still shows. You know, people are still willing to invest in themselves, yeah. which. It's still good, right? That's why it's yeah, good. Like, I feel like with people, like, the, the aspect they like about it is, like, you're not being baby-fed, but it's almost like you're just being given the information so they feel like they're, like... That's cool, you mean? Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. You're just being given the information so you don't really have to, like, go out and find out on your own, so it's, like, a lot easier for some people. Yeah, and it's, like, a lot of people are just doing it, like, so they can get the degree and then get a job, which yeah. they'll most likely end up paying. Like, they're not doing it because they want to learn about, like... You know, the mitochondria. Exactly. I feel like, yeah. like eighty percent of students right now don't know what they're doing past that once once they graduate. No, yeah, yeah like ninety nine percent probably. Like it's insane. It's true, exactly. Um, this is kind of off topic, topic yeah. from from what we're talking about, but Cam, what do you think of Airbnb? What do you thoughts on <laughs> Airbnb? Um, if you don't mind me asking. No, no, <laughs> I I think it's an interesting opportunity right now. School um, the RTA. Yeah, no, I mean, and the RTA is, is what is bringing, you know, People forcing a lot of investors to, to, to go to this option. Mm -hmm. um, it is more work, but it's more profit for that work. and uh, More startup capital. A little furniture. more startup capital, and, and your renovations are going to be a little bit nicer. But the, the big one is they're avoiding the RTA, right? They're avoiding having those tenants that, um, you know, are can tough swap. to get out. Yeah, that, that, you know, can just not pay and it takes months and... Yeah. You know, to even get you know an appointment with the, the LTB. So I mean, it, it, it's an interesting opportunity, but cities are slowly starting to come up with bylaws and rules that know. you know. I noticed that. Yeah. So I mean, you know, even in Toronto right now, they're you know listening to yeah, yeah they're all yeah, discussing. So, yeah, they're all discussing. so we'll see what happens with it. I don't know how long it's going to be around for. I think there will Hopefully be restrictions right. for it, but I mean, even I know for myself that the rule that they're looking at is. Um, you know, kind of even I was in Nashville and it has similar rules where you can rent out in your primary residence for 180 days of the year. So oh, I, I know for me, oh, like, that's man, well, that's what I mean. Like for me, it's still going to be an opportunity around if you have that investor mindset. Yeah. Yeah. My wife um, and we have a, a one year old girl. We're looking at moving eventually to more of a forever home. But Ooh, even yeah. my forever home will have an Airbnb opportunity. <laughs> so even if it's my forever home and it'll be an expensive home, 
it will have a second kitchen or a second living space. Potential. It'll be our primary residence that my wife's happy with, but we'll still be making. Uh, and like, we'll still be making. Let's money. say you're not renting it out. You know, you could always just go use that. You yes, know? it's yeah, always yeah. there. Right? That's just the Options. investor mindset. It's a perfect yeah. example. Though. Yeah, maybe we'll come crash one. Day. Yeah, like you know, I, whatever. <laughs> but to me, like you know, and in my last workshop, I showed a house where you know it was like already a legal duplex for five hundred thousand on. Is that the last one? Oh, that's there. the Dwight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so conditional now. The one that we're trying oh, to get. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. That's what, a, that was a great We were trying to get, I don't want to say yeah, his name. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, I, I mean, so. it's a prime example. Like, say you three went in and put 5% down on the three-bedroom unit, it. and then Airbnb a lower unit. You know, I guarantee you that Cash covers, like, crazy. you know, but at least bare minimum cover all your expenses. Yeah. So yeah. You're going to live for free, so... That's, I mean, but that's the duplex. I'll that's a Yeah, yeah. No, so that's it's definitely, like, like, something we plan on doing, though, once we're able to. Yeah. It's just, um, yeah. yeah. And at least, uh, sorry, sorry to no, 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 no. At least Airbnb gives you that opportunity that, yeah, that you know, you What's funny I mean, it's not as experienced, right, as, as, but, like, you can jump into it. You don't want to, you know, like, but the one you thing get about, like, Airbnb out. that's, like, amazing is, like, with, it's, like, illegal to talk bad about, like, a tenant to, like, another landlord. But on Airbnb, they <laughs> have a rating yeah, system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can tell if they're going to be like a shit guest or not. But like, yeah. it would be illegal for camp to say, yeah, don't rent to that person. That person's a yeah. shit tenant. Yeah. Under the RTA, you can't say that. But like on Airbnb, it's like completely opposite. Like you yeah. can literally write like that person's shit. Yeah. Don't let them. What's yeah. funny about it is though, is short term rentals have been around for years. Yeah, booking.com. But, but even cottage stuff. rentals and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just Airbnb coming out with a platform that's kind of gone viral has, 100%. you know, has made people turn this into you know, an investment strategy that, that, you know, people are using in town, but, um, you know, people could have used Expedia and some yeah, of those, Expedia's like, yeah. definitely the viral, that, the viral aspect, like you said, yeah, like so it's it's definitely. Definitely. It, made it, it more, it is, it is, it mainstream, is. made it mainstream, well, it yeah. simplified it, right, it simplified yeah. the process for, for not only landlords, but, you know, people buying or people having that option to, you know, get a short-term rental in a major city as opposed mm -hmm. to just renting a cottage for the week kind of thing, so, yeah, it's yeah. interesting, yeah. interesting. Well, I guess, not to say to wrap it up, but I guess, um, like what like, advice would you give us? Since we're young. And yeah, we're still, like, yeah that's a good, salt. that's a very good, yeah, this like, would be a mic, yeah, so repeat going, that, repeat okay, that. Okay, so since, like, obviously we have a long journey ahead of us, we're only in the beginning stages, so like, <laughs> what advice would you give to us? The advice I give to you guys, which I know you're already doing, is keep learning. Yeah. Okay. You know, find every opportunity to learn. Yeah. Um, as you said, there you know YouTube, Google, Instagram, mentors. you know books, even still like you know mentors. Oh, yeah. There's there's lots of, of learning, and, and I know you guys have that mindset. Um, you know, second would be to take action. Yeah. You know, to you, you're going to be scared regardless of what 100%. you're going to do, but um, you know, you know, taking action as soon as you guys are financially able to yeah. is is key, right? And into keeping going, especially because of the industries you're in, right? Like people. Yeah. Are gonna you're gonna need to take action so and I think they'll go hand in hand like the more knowledge you get the more comfortable you get to take action. and uh, yeah. you, know, you don't want to take action but I mean you guys are so young and you don't even know it and it's <laughs> like literally you have no idea and it, it, it's it's crazy thinking about it and I know every old person says that but yeah. Yeah. it's uh, the crazy thing is I already feel like I'm Getting old. I know. Yeah, I, know yeah, like, I feel like, oh, like, I'm already, like, like no, like, I'm scared like, to turn 19. Year, and no, you need to do literally, mean, like, like, I was even thinking about, like, getting goosebumps. I'm like, shit, I'm yeah. 19 in, like, two days. <laughs> yeah. And you like, guys could literally, you know, do, go get a med degree and you're still young. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. You have so much time and, I mean, you know, you guys are, are already grinding and already working hard and learning. So, I mean, I think, <laughs> I, I, you guys will be fine. I know you'll be fine. It's Thank just, you, uh, yeah. You know, keeping keeping what you guys are doing and like one thing that you kind of talked about yesterday that I liked what he said is like how everyone says that when they were like our age they would be doing like what they learned but like they actually wouldn't be because like they were doing something else like we're actually like 18 19 are actually doing so I think that's yeah. perspective as well yeah. it's like, wow well the hardest part is mindset right like yeah. the hardest part of any investor or anybody, anything in general like anything in general is mindset right yeah. as soon as you have the correct mind um, you know, things will fall into place. So, I mean, you know, again, when I was 18, I, I it was good. You go to university. That's just what you do. There yeah, wasn't yeah. anyone or anything out there really saying, you know, that I knew of, right. Yeah. That or, or influenced me to say that. And, you know, I just felt like I was lucky to have a couple of things fall into place, but yeah. you know, and you know, I've had the mindset, but it took me a lot longer to get, to get going and get there. Right. Because 100%. it was, 
Like you guys are, you know, coming out of high school, you know, fresh, you know, open minds, yeah. ready to learn. And I mean, the other thing I would say, or the last thing I would say is, is don't worry about your age. Yeah. You know, people don't care about your age. They care about what value you're going to provide. Yeah. You know, you know, a lot of people, I, I, I mean, I opened a, a gym at a young age too, right? And people were like, how are you going to train people? Or how are you own a gym when you're so young? Yeah. And it was like, you know, you just prove it to them. You just show, you know, with your actions that I'm helping you. And then they end up, you know, you know, reiterating and coming back and, and pumping your tires and saying, yeah, this person does know what they're doing, right? Yeah. So that's why I say knowledge is number one. As soon as you have the knowledge, you know, your age becomes irrelevant, right? That's very it's, true, yeah. It, it, and, and a lot of people let their age hold them back. I don't they think, think we do. I don't think we've ever done that. No, no. no. We, I don't think you guys do either, but a lot yeah. of people are like, yo, I'm 18. I, exactly. I shouldn't be selling yeah. real estate. Or I'm 18. Yeah, yeah, I shouldn't yeah, yeah. do a mortgage. It's like, no, you can. Just you got to know what you're doing. Exactly. Exactly. You know, as soon as you learn what you're doing, then, you know, people... Not, nobody that, in itself, that in itself may take time, but no, it's more just at that. least we're putting the effort into it. No, I think what the thing is, like, I think people don't think we're 18, 19. is because... We either like we like we look or smart sound smart like whether we're smart or not like we like you know what I mean? like whether whether we know what we're doing or not like an eighteen year old would put this video out yeah exactly exactly yeah it's like when when people see us at networking events like you've seen it too like the last one that we went yeah. to people are like you're eighteen like yeah. what and it's like yeah like I think just because like the knowledge and like just literally just putting yourself out there that type of thing. People just think like, oh, these are like 22 or like they just finished school. Or yeah. Remember, everyone just wants to know, how are you going to help me? Yeah. yeah. How are you what gonna, what are you going to do for me? As soon as you can start doing something for somebody, you'll get paid. Yeah. You know, and you'll, you'll get a career and that will fall into place. But, you know, the knowledge and the confidence to then help people, you know, and do a good job for them in whatever aspect that is. Yeah. Should be the primary focus, <laughs> not, you know, yeah, I guess not so. your age. Also, just like owning what you are and just... Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I know. I know. We talked about that. I, I think last night when we, yeah. were, we were talking, it's like you know, you don't want to hide it, but you don't want to like make it a negative. It's not. It's not. It's, no yeah. one. No one else. Like you, no one else is making a negative thing except you. Exactly. Right. You're going like, oh shit, and it's like a self conscious <laughs> thing going through your mind that like, you know, and it blocks you. Like I'm only yeah. 18. I'm only. It's like no, nobody is caring or asking. Yeah. 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 Nobody is exactly. like, like no one has asked me in like a negative way ever. Yeah. No. And even like when people ask like ask how old we are, like we ask them like how old do you think we are? I don't think anyone's ever said eighteen. They're always like twenty yeah. plus. No so one's ever like got our age right. Yeah, yeah. and so like but again, and, like, doesn't come down into age, right? It's yeah. all about the knowledge. And, you know, but matter. you know what they ask me? They ask me what's your experience or what have you done? Yeah. Or what have you? You know, it, it never ends. It never really ends. Just because yeah. you're then twenty one or twenty two, people will then be like, well, okay, you look young. older, but what 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 have what's you done? Your yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your experience yeah, yeah. Or, or what are your what's your knowledge, right? So. I think it's just a matter of, you know, um, you know, proving, you know, proving yeah. yourself and which is like what the content is like really helping us out with, I think. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. Like, I don't think, I don't think like virtual of library of yeah. literally the stuff we do. Literally. Right? I, I just think our experiences say, ourselves, they don't have to be so. yeah. Like, I don't think we realize how much money we're going to make when people our age are buying houses because they yeah. already look up to us now. Exactly. <laughs> like, they're going to be, like, lined up, like, when they all, like, finish school and whatever. Because, like, they're, they're going to be, yeah, and they've seen, like, oh, my gosh, like, that whole time they were learning real estate and they yeah. were understanding the markets and stuff like that. Well, I've said that, too. Like, right now I'm learning, you know, about investing in Oshawa with the birth strategy, student rentals, you know, kind of, you know, and, and I look at that like I'm small time. Yeah. You know, to me, I, I want to get into multifamily and apartment buildings commercial, and awesome. commercial and, you know, so to me, like even at 33, I'm, I'm not stopping learning. Like, no, I'm, as soon as I learn, journey doesn't end. and that's why, like, I, you know, kind of going to Instagram and to, to social media, people get afraid to share their content mm. because they're like, well, I just learned this. This is valuable information. I'm not going to share it, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, you know, mm -hmm. but it's the wrong mindset to have. It's yeah, like, share that. what I know right now to help somebody, yep. but then keep learning more stuff, right? Where they, yeah. they get that mindset like, okay, I'm a successful realtor, I'm helping people with this strategy, I'm done. You know, I'm just gonna keep doing that for the rest of my life and I'm done, where it's like, no, I'll keep doing that, Yeah. but then I'm gonna learn something else. Yeah. I'm gonna learn something else, yeah. so, you know. That it, can help in the previous stuff that you've already learned. Yeah, 100%, right? It, 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 never, it should never end, learning should never end. It should 100%. always be number one. Action should always be number two. Yeah. Um, you know, in anybody's life, I'd say that if, if you if you if you were twenty nine, you said, "What should I do?" I'd say, "Learn, learn, <laughs> <laughs> take action." You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, it wouldn't be much different, to be honest, right? So I mean, it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. At the end of the day, Cam too. Like obviously, Cam, like he does, like you know, he asks me for like social media, or like he just 
He's always asking questions. Yeah, and trying yeah. To he's still, he's still uh, reading books too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Audio books more so now, but I guess another thing is like, don't be afraid to like put yourself out there. Yeah, that's a good one. Don't be afraid to like. Comes down to learning and taking action. Sorry. We made a video about that recently. Yeah, put yourself out. Yeah. No, like that's what's what would you say, Cam, is like your your like gateway drug into like entrepreneurship slash business for me it was like in grade 12 luke actually he told me about this book called rich dad poor and i'm like hey, dude, shut up like this is stupid right <laughs> yeah. and then it was grade 12 I was like you know what? i'll just read it and then i read it and i was like holy shit like it was like insane i think these guys too rich dad poor dad yeah, right? what about for you what was your like gateway drug in or whatever yeah so for me like because i kind of had a weird journey so i yeah. I, I i ran a bar in in my last year university um you know, I still remember like having to do the taxes and was like, uh, what? Yeah, I'm not <laughs> yeah. any of this. And so it was kind of like learn as I go and, uh, then opened a gym. Um, so I, I had those, I had those, you know, businesses going and I kind of just jumped into them. Yeah. Um, I didn't have any business education or experience. I wasn't reading like business books or anything. I just liked it. I liked doing business. I liked being in business, but Okay. The book that really, um, you know, opened my eyes is I called understand. The E-Myth. Yep. Revised, right? The, the E-Myth Revised. Yeah. 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 So it, it, it was a very simple book. Um, you know, it talked about, you know, uh, creating a team and, and not just buying. What I was doing or what a lot of entrepreneurs do is they buy themselves a job. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Where yeah, the yeah. E-Myth is more about, like, if you're truly the entrepreneur and the owner of the business, that you are going to step outside of it and the business should run without you. Mm -hmm. You should, you shouldn't be able to, you shouldn't need to, you know, do all the jobs inside. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so it really opened my eyes because even in the book, like we had hired a trainer and then had to fire them right away. (laughs) And the book literally was like, you're going to hire someone. And then two weeks later, you're going to fire them because you didn't think they did a good enough job. And I was like, holy crap, we literally did that. <laughs> and, and it was like, you know, his fault that is you. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, what do you mean? That guy was sh- crap. It was like, no, 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 you didn't train him. You don't know how to be a manager. You know how I was like, well, yeah, right? So yeah, it, it like puts the onus back on you. Quick type of thing. Yeah, and it puts the insane. onus back on you. But it, it really then was like, you know, and then that led me into a lot of Rich Dad, Poor Dad and all the other kind of books because I was then like hooked on it. And I mean, you know, I, I was I was not a big reader when I was eighteen. Like I hated reading. I <laughs> no, didn't, like we don't know anyone that like other than like entrepreneur people. No, like no one reads. I hate it, right? And so that's why when I read that one, I was just like, you know, I was just how shocked at how much I learned. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it was just kind of, and it sounds kind of weird when you're no, no. Like, initially, you're like, you. you know, what's this book? Like, I'm probably, you know, and again, maybe it's because I've been reading these textbooks. I'm like, okay, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really didn't like oh, hit home, but like. I guess when you read a book that really hits home and like opens your eyes, like, yeah. it, and it changes your viewpoint, and yeah. it it really does change your whole life, and uh, you know, open up your your mindset and and help okay. you down a, down a proper path. So, what about like in high school? Like, were you like entrepreneur? Were you like flipping stuff? Like, what were you like? Over Nothing. Anything? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I worked at yeah. Uh, I worked at Sous Chalet cutting chicken in high school. <laughs> yeah. uh, That's awesome. Yeah, I you know I I didn't have any you know. I was playing hockey, playing sports, just, you know, being a teenager, being a teenager, literally. And, uh, you know, didn't have any sort of education or anything from that standpoint. So that's why when I say you guys are young and yeah. don't worry, like, you guys are well ahead of the curve. Like, you know, I would say I didn't start, like I, I was in my third year of university. So I would have been maybe 20, 20, 21, yeah. 21, maybe. Yeah. That was my first year just getting any taste of business. Then Damn. opened the gym when I was wow. 22. Good for um, you. Yeah. It's open area really like that. So that's yeah. That's so then it was just it, it it got that bug. Like it was a good little taste of it. Um, you know, and that's why you know I am happy I went to university because maybe if I didn't go, I wouldn't have got that. Mm-hmm. But it was yeah. more like you know coincidence or luck yeah. and yeah, yeah. You know, from that standpoint. But uh, you know, I'm still happy that I I got that and had that because I know people that haven't had that opportunity or that's haven't true. you know haven't had it. And I think you know that's why the stuff that you guys are posting on Instagram and social media phenomenal for kids your age right because it's, it's giving them an opportunity right it's giving them a chance if they're if they open something and, and 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 listen to it and read it and it changes their mindset and forces them to read a book or something or or yeah. encourages them to read a book forces is a bad word but um it then uh you know they'll, they'll pay you back